What's up, keepers? We're uh, back in the garage again, working on the Renegade. Um, a little cold. Got a couple of heaters running, but uh, in between, that's a little greasy. Sorry about that. Anyway, in between uh, trips to the shop to get the frame welded up, uh, do a couple other little fixes. Uh, Shell lost heat in the Jeep. Um, it's got the old cable style sliders for the doors. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's going all the way to hot. So I'm going to crawl into the dash and see if I can just kind of rig it up for now. Um, just to get it closed on the hot side so it'll blow hot. But I also noticed the temperature gauge is no longer coming all the way up to temp. It's stopping uh, a little past 100, 120, somewhere right in there. Uh, so I'm not sure if the thermostat is uh, closing at all. I think it might be stuck open. It's probably been in there forever, uh, so I'm going to change the thermostat. I'm going to start out by uh, spraying this stuff down with some PB Blaster just to uh, make sure we don't suffer any broken bolts. Let that sit a little while, and uh, I'll be back in a minute. If you remember the first video, um, I was talking about how we had some positive crankcase pressure. And how this piece right over here was broken. Uh, so I kind of rigged it up into the into the uh, top of the valve cover there, and just put it all back together using some shellac. Believe it or not, somebody had that that hose right there plugged with a bolt. Um, so hopefully that took care of some of it. But I think we're still getting a little positive crankcase pressure. Um, Eventually we'll do a valve cover gasket and clean out all the muck and then maybe even do an engine flush But in the meantime With that positive crankcase pressure that was there before this engine air filter Is soaked A little bit of oil getting in there, so We're gonna put in a new one This is a nice white one so I can see how much oil is getting in there and it was cheap so that I don't get upset when I have to replace it again right away because it's still getting covered in oil. Gonna pull these hoses off, disconnect the temp sensor, get this housing off, and see what we got for a thermostat. I was kind of surprised here. Chrysler actually decided to stick with uh, standard size nuts, apparently. You know, on the 91, and this is when everybody was really starting to switch to metric. Surprisingly, it doesn't look too bad on the inside. Not too bad at all.
Thermostat definitely wasn't stuck open. Doesn't really look the worst for wear, but we're already in there, so we're going to go ahead and change it. You know what? This one says USA on it. And if you ask Shell, that means a hell of a lot to me. So, buy domestic whenever you can. Just checking, that one had an up arrow. Make sure it goes in 100% correct. That should be pretty good right there. Not something you see used very often anymore. But all right, make sure that's right. I'm a fan of shellac. It does kind of a, you know, it gives you a nice sticky surface, so you don't have to mess with slipping gaskets. It seals the hell out of things. My problem, it's a complete mess to use. And I almost always use too much. Okay, we got our mating surfaces all cleaned up. Bolt her back on. And I dropped the bolt, so I'll be back. Probably would have been a lot easier if I just took the freaking belt off. But, I always wanted to try a shortcut. The only problem is there rarely is an actual shortcut. Let's get this back together. Wow. So take a look at this radiator. I mean, I know it's a little bit hurt. Looks pretty tough right there. Here, definitely the original one, rough shape, but look inside this thing. Definitely gonna need one of those soon. Yeah, cool, it looked better than I thought it did. I think the water pump on here is new. Probably could have reused it, but the thing is, I'm not sure. Hold it. Man, those things are clogged up. Your controls might be a good bit easier to figure out here. Probably should have checked this first, but I really wanted to do the thermostat just in case. But this, notice anything about the hot side? It'll go to cold and stay there. But when I put it to warm, it stops about halfway. Well, here is the cable 
that controls it. So here's cold. Here's hot. Cold. Hot. Except. Which way is which? Hold on. So cold is to the left. Hot should be pulling that rod to the right. But it stops. I can just grab this. And move it to the right. A little stiff, but that should be our hot side. So we should have way more heat coming out just from that. So this cable gonna have to be replaced. It's a little stretched. So now all that's left is to fire her up, bleed out the air from the coolant and let her warm up and make sure I have heat in there um, because if my girlfriend's not comfortable then I'm working in a cold garage with this for my heat which does work surprisingly well but now that I need to start the vehicle I'm gonna have to open up the garage and it's gonna get cold for a little while so I'll let you guys know how it turns out in just a few Temp gauge coming back up. We were barely getting past that first uh, thick line after 100 earlier. So that's fixed. That's good. I think the thermostat definitely made a big difference. Um, but the biggest fix was just getting that blend door readjusted. And then the divider here that directs the air had actually fallen out. Um, it was broken, so I screwed that back in. So now we have something we didn't even have before, and that's the air going either which way. But uh, we'll have to get a new cable for that blend door. Um, otherwise, you guys may not be able to see it, but I can definitely feel it. Uh, the heat is definitely back and better than it was from when Shell first bought the car. So we're in pretty good shape. Good day in the garage.